Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 16. We have some photos for the episode. Also, we have the official title of a couple more episodes. So we need to break them all down and talk about them. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yes, we are finally making a Supergirl video again. We've obviously mentioned and talked about Supergirl in some of my other videos and if you guys are active and following my streams every Thursday night, you know we talk about Supergirl quite a bit, as always. However, recently with Supergirl's big break, a lot of the emphasis has been put on the other shows that are currently running right now, like the Flash and Superman Lois. Obviously Superman Lois is on like a mini break but they're still in the middle of their season and they're coming back very soon. However, Supergirl isn't coming back till August so we have been waiting quite a while since episode 7 aired when Superman Lois replaced it as it came back onto the CW. So it's been a while since we had any real big concrete news and today we're going to be talking about some of the recent stuff that I've missed out on and some new information. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the new titles. We have four new titles for different episodes and they aren't strictly like one after the other. However, we do have the information about that. So the first title we have, obviously, is what's happening next episode. Welcome back, Kara is the title for episode 8. We all knew that already, that was announced a while back, so we know that Supergirl is coming back August 24th, that is the official release date for Supergirl's return, and that is the Welcome Back Kara episode, so Kara is going to be finally back on Earth in National City doing her normal Supergirl thing, and obviously going around as Kara Danvers once again, also her uncle is going to be in this episode, which is of course zor her Kryptonian father. So the episode after this is episode 9, titled Dreamweaver. This comes out a week afterwards, August 31st, so the final day of August before we head into the fall with September. And so this is episode 9, and I have to emphasize, this season has 20 episodes, so we still have a long way to go. And the finale won't air until November, so we have Supergirl for a long time once we hit August. Obviously, we're at the start of July now, so we do have like a good chunk of nearly two months to go. However, the title Dreamweaver, obviously this episode has something to do with Dreamer because Dreamweaver definitely suggests Dreamer is like the main focus of the episode. That's about it. I guess it's just about Dream. Something could be going on psychologically with the characters, but that's my interpretation. Episode 10 is titled Still I Rise. This is a very Supergirl title, I feel like. It's something that evokes an image in your head. Like when you say still I rise, that means that someone's been in a fight, but still they're going to rise, they're going to fight back no matter what, and that is what Supergirl stands for, and that's what she always does. So I totally think there's going to be some sort of big battle in this episode. And we know the episode afterwards is going to be big, because we've seen lots of set photos from the episode, from episode 11, titled Mixie in the Middle, which will see the return of Mr. Mixius Bilic and also Nixley is going to be in the episode. That was the sort of end credit teaser of episode 7, the final episode that we got before this big break, where we saw Nixley on top of the ship. So it looks like in episode 10 and 11, they're going to be fighting Nixley, and she's going to be like the big bad for at least the first half, and then I guess someone else might be in the back half because I don't think Nixley's going to stick around and be like the main villain for the whole season. However, yeah, that's episode 11's title. Mixie in the Middle, that is coming out September 14th. This is exactly a week after September 7th, where you had the episode 10, Still I Rise episode. And so, the big new one, and maybe you guys have heard of some of those titles before, because they were thrown around for a little bit, but episode 16 officially has a title. This is coming from Canada Graphs. You can go check out his blog in the description below, as we're going to be going over some of his latest blog. It was out about a month ago, so I'm a bit behind on this but it's still the latest we've got from Supergirl with their filming. So the title of episode 16 is officially Nightmare in National City. I have to say, I think this is my favorite title of the entire season so far because it really evokes what it's trying to say. Some sort of nightmare is happening within the city and something 100% is going down and you can tell from the set photos that we're gonna go over in a minute 
that something definitely is going wrong in National City, and I don't know if it's like The Flash where you have an actual nightmare villain coming in and like messing things up, is it going to be something within the minds of the people of National City, or is it going to be a literal nightmare, like red skies going all over the place, crisis happening, something like that. Obviously, maybe it won't go to that extent, I think it's just going to be like one main villain causing this sort of nightmarish scenario within National City, and that's about it. But we don't know too much about what's happening in Supergirl's back half, this is obviously episode 16, this is just a couple of episodes before the finale, which is going to be episode 20 this season, that is obviously going to be the final episode ever of Supergirl. But for now, let's go on to read Canada Grouse's blog about this episode. So I caught up with Supergirl filming episode 16, titled Nightmare in National City, directed by Eric Dean Seaton, and he is a regular Arrowverse director. He is directing the final two episodes of The Flash this season. So he is back, but he's with Supergirl this time. And so the cast and crew were at a park, they were filming, actually in the same spot where they were in episode 11, that is the Mixie episode, so when Mixie returns. So they return to this park, probably use it as a different location. As you know, a lot of the Arrowverse shows go back to the same locations and just dress them differently or show them from different angles because they don't have to reveal exactly where they are. However, on this day, they have Melissa Benoist as Supergirl, Kyla Lee as Alex Danvers slash Sentinel, Katie McGrath as Lena Luthor, and Jesse Raff as Brainiac 5, all out together in the middle of, of the park, doing a scene where the trio of Brainy, Lena, and Alex are standing together as Supergirl flies in to join them. They chat briefly before being interrupted by something, then there was sound effects simulated to them that sounded like they were being shot at or something and it made them seem to be shaken momentarily before Supergirl turns and flies off. Then Sentinel and Brainy race over to a pair of large objects, which you can see in the photos right here, seemingly trying to hold them up, while Lena plays on a tablet in an attempt to do something. So that was about it for the filming, and you can see from the photos, which I am going to pop up on the screen right here, that this is what is going on. So. Great photos by Canada Graphs as usual. In the first photo we see Supergirl with Lena and Alex and they are standing in the aforementioned park. And it seems like this is just after Melissa had done the fake landing where she is landing as Supergirl from the sky. And you can see in some of the other photos we have the rest of the team. Alex has actually got binoculars. She's looking up towards something. So I would presume the threat is coming from above. And that's gonna be something that they're gonna CGI in afterwards and that's why they had the simulated like gunshot effects because maybe it's like a spaceship that is shooting lasers at them or something like that. It seems that they are trying to take down something that is futuristic or at least alien because they have this kind of weird futuristic construct behind them like you can see Lena and she's on a tablet trying to potentially stop whatever is coming towards them and you have Brainy and Alex trying to actually pick up the thing behind them and then we get like a wider photo of them all and you see Supergirl there with Brainy, Alex, and also Lena as they all look up into the sky. And you have that big futuristic alien looking totem, I guess you could call it, behind them. So even though I don't have like the full answers of what's going on, you can pretty much interpret it as Team Supergirl is being attacked by a spaceship or someone up in the sky. And there is some sort of gunshots going off or laser shots and they are basically trying to stop them and has something to do with the constructs behind them. But yeah, we have like one more final photo to show you guys. This is just a behind the scenes photo of Melissa, Kyla, Jesse, and also Katie as they laugh behind the scenes, obviously between takes and you know, it's just pretty nice to see them all having a good time. And like I said, go check out Canada Glass's blog. Also follow his Twitter if you wanna stay up to date with the latest stuff going on in Vancouver. With the blog, there is a lot more photos and there's a bit more details and you can check out all the recent Supergirl set shoots that they've done. But for now, let's move on to the last final few things. And this is coming from you guys who have been sending in questions. If you want to be featured in any of my videos with your questions, please be sure to send them in via the community tab. I posted a new tab up just yesterday where you guys can comment if you want something that is on your mind to be answered in one of these videos. So I have two questions. The first one comes from Vicky Chase on YouTube who asks, 
Do you think Jordan will develop any powers like flight in Superman Lower Season 1? So that is a very good question, Vicky. And I've been asked this quite a few times, do I think Jordan is going to become Superboy? I don't think it's something that we're going to fully see, like, I don't think we're going to see Superboy in a costume this season. I think that he is developing his powers right now, you can definitely see that with the progression they've made. I think maybe he gets the power of flight this season, but I'm saying he's not going to get a costume until at least halfway through next season. I feel like that's the way they're going, but again, that's only my interpretation. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from my name is Jeff on YouTube who asks, how do you think Supergirl will end and where will her story go after season six finishes? This is a question that I'm asked all the time, obviously because there are lots of interpretations of how potentially Supergirl could end because we don't have any concrete answers. The closest we've got to a teaser was Melissa recently commenting that she was able to give some input as to how she wants Supergirl to end and she requested that Supergirl, her character, would end off her series run in a very particular way and if Melissa is having that say, she's not going to be like, oh I want to kill off Supergirl or something, she's going to want to keep her legacy alive to inspire those who come next like Neo or Brainy or anyone like that who basically looks up to Supergirl or is like the Legion of Superheroes who in the future are founded because they are inspired by Supergirl. So yeah, that's kind of where I think her character is going to end. I think there is a possibility, as I've mentioned before, she might go to the future or she goes to Argo City with her parents. I think that is a chance. I'm kind of stuck between the two. However, most people are leaning towards the idea of her going to the future, joining the Legion of Superheroes, and being back with mon -El. And in terms of past season six, where a story goes, I don't think it really goes anywhere. That's because they are setting up her character to not come back. Obviously, there's a chance sometime in the future maybe Melissa does return. However, for now, it seems like it's going to be like a pretty permanent end. They're going to send off Supergirl to somewhere where she's not going to be around National City to help out, even when the city needs help. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. You can click on the top right corner of the screen right here to watch my latest video. Subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos as well. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.